Okay, so today this will be different, okay? Because I'm going to show you, and you already have it here on screen, the moon, the moon transportation system. And why does it look so, uh, well, full of arrows? I'll go through each one of them. And the main reason it's because I'm building a rover, okay? And I'm identifying the main things, the things that a rover has. And I decided to share with you because I believe that we can find awesome solutions if we start from the generic and then move down to the specific. Got it? Okay. So moon transportation system, this thing over here, um, has essentially a command and control subsystem, a communications subsystem, a navigation one, an electrical power one, and the thermal control, let me put there, there yeah, the subsystem. And couple of other things, okay, that are common. A mobility subsystem, and you see that I've got in here the, the things that compose it. A stowage and deployment, and a usage subs subsystem. I'll just give examples of stuff, okay, things. But most important, usage, imagine this, can be for human usage or for something else. So, if you see robots on the moon, things that move, we know that that's the what's their use are they going to move things around are they gonna have things inside them are they going to pile and pick up are they going to have people so the usage subsystem could be a cabin okay all the other things they need to exist they could be human controlled like the command and control but they need to communicate and the most important one is guys is this one the thermal control subsystem that is in this case in the moon um, needs to be um, needs to verify that it's between the minus 270 or minus 140 Kelvin. No, it, I know it's um, minus uh, 270 Celsius to 100 Celsius. And I, we, I can confirm the, the, the range, of course, when we put the specifications on the diagram. Um, of course, all of that will be, uh, we need to check, okay, where is it going? How much miles per year, what kind of traverse, a lot of stuff. But I think these are the building blocks. I think they are the building blocks for the, for the moon rover. And that's why I'm so excited because it, there is this new partnership with GE and, uh, and Boeing, I believe, to build moon rovers. What I'm saying is that, well, you know, we've got this uh, amazing knowledge that came, that comes from the the works of lunar and planetary rovers, the wheels of Apollo on the quest for Mars. And what I'm saying is that we can learn a lot from here and anyone can contribute to the challenge. And, and I think that's just amazing. Of course, we need to model this. Now, think about the market dynamics. How many rovers do we need for humans? And this is the, that's a fun part in here. We need two or three or four or, or probably I'm gonna say a hundred in the next 20 years a hundred versus if we think about robotic exploration we are going to need probably a thousand see this so the usage subsystem is the one that is going that will expand all the others I'm gonna say they exist for everyone another thing we can start plugging in here wheels the number of wheels and I just like the fantastic part of this that is you have a diagram that talks to you. Look at, look, look at the fun part. Um, the diagram says, okay, the moon transportation system consists of control and, uh, command and control subsystems, communications. So it, it gives you the logic. Imagine if we can translate this to other languages. So I'm really thrilled on modeling on a, on a thing that allows you to know what are the things. We need to rethink about the market, but also think that Come on, they're not doing such a hard thing. What will be hard is to make everyone collaborate on this project. So I hope you enjoy this. I, I'm enjoying it massively. I made a ton of research on this with my team as well. And uh, I hope that uh, soon we can meet and discuss options for what's the command and control system? What will be the communications one? And how much is the electrical power? You need a primary one and a secondary one? Is it, uh, or will it be, um, as I've seen some examples, uh, uh, battery-driven and then solar, but we can discuss this with a nice diagram, okay? Uh, 
Enjoy your night, your day.